It's Nick's Psychotronic History of Sci-Fi. Moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas, you've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Ah, arguably my favorite TV show of all time, The Twilight Zone, is nothing short of brilliance. Created by Rod Serling and often narrated by the man. Portrait of a Bush League Fuhrer named Peter Vollmer. A sparse little man who feeds off his self-delusions. This series was an anthology series wherein every episode has a self-contained story that often spoke something about the human condition. Many of the shows were written by Serling himself and many others were adapted from old science fiction stories and some were even classic, like Occurrence at Owl Bridge. It was written by Ambrose Bierce, look it up. The series was noted for its famous twist endings and shocking revelations, none of which I'll spoil here, but by God, you need to see them. It also helped spur on the career of many young actors like William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, Le Martin Landau, and dozens of others. It also featured well-known actors like Burgess Meredith and Art Carney in some roles. It was open and closed with an eerie narration given by Rod Serling, who was famous for talking through his teeth. Something found only in the Twilight Zone. The stories weren't always science fiction or horror or even the supernatural. Some stories could happen, they were just plain strange. It only lasted five seasons, but I guess that's for the best because it might have gotten really terrible, and really, who wants to see that? It of course led to the moderate success of Star Trek a few years later, and Rod Serling even came back with another show entitled Night Gallery, which focused more on horror than science fiction. The Twilight Zone has received a huge following over the years, including a revival series and even a movie. But without the teeth talking of Rod Serling, to me at least, it loses some of its magic. Serling died tragically young at only 50 years old, leaving a legacy behind him, drifting into the ether of the Twilight Zone.